Hello, in this video, I will cover how to get the shop rules from online, also how to use the Polygon 4 tool and the auto router. So to start, you're going to go to the internet and search up the ECE shop at byu.edu. You'll get to this page. Um, the fastest way I found to get to the shop rules for your design would be clicking the project request form, clicking PCB mail, and then here, clicking the shop cam and DRC. Those are rules for other programs, but they also have the alt team in here. Click on alt team, click design rules, shop rules, just download them. Um, assuming you have downloaded them, to put them into your system, you'll click design rules. And then where it says design rules right here, this folder, you'll right click, you'll click import rules, and then you'll click control A, and then you'll click OK. You'll select your rules, and then you'll hit open. You might ask if you want to clear all the prior rules, go ahead and click yes. Um, from here, another thing we're going to do really quickly is in design rules, you'll see there's a routing section. Go ahead and look through those until you find routing layers, and then unclick the top layer because it's better to do all bottom layers here at the shop. Um, and if your board doesn't work that you order, it's better to be able to print one here at the shop. And then hit OK. Once you've done all that, you're ready to use the Polygon tool. It's found right here, it's kind of this shape. Um, to pour it, you'll select Polygon 4. You'll click the corner of your board. Most commonly, we like to do the ground plane. And then once you have your pull, hit the complete one, and then twice. No automatically pour. As you can see, it's red. That's because it is on the top layer. Um, a lot of our boards, we want to be on other layers. So we're going to double click it. And it will open the properties tab, and you can change it to the bottom layer. And you can also change it to be your ground plane right there by clicking the down arrow, and it'll show you all your net values. And it'll select ground and report. Um, if you are not using the auto router, I suggest you connect everything yourself first using interactive route connections right here. And you'll just click on the leads and then click over to where you want it to connect to. In this case, it could connect over here. Um, if you do it after it's board, you'll get this error that looks like this. Um, if you click on the polygon, and click report, it should take away the error. Um, if you would like to use the auto route features, you will click route up here in the top left, and then auto route all, and then just go ahead and click route all, and then click your polygon again, and report, and you will see that it's connected there. Now, keep in mind that it won't always connect everything the best way possible. Um, this board has a lot of empty space on it, which I would personally get rid of after some time, and I would also try to get rid of right degree angles or these little tiny shift spots that it just fills in. So from here, if you want to play around, you can move components and move traces. Um, if you completely don't like a trace, you can always delete it by clicking it, select and delete, and then report or reline it up by clicking the button I showed earlier, and then just connect it into across. Um, and it'll give you errors until you report your polygon at this point. There are other errors that you can get while doing this. If you have components, too close to each other, or tracks too close to the edge while wiring it, it will look like this, and you'll see the less than 250. To see that, you can run, click Tools, and hit Design Rule Check. Click Run Design Rule Check. We'll go through, and I'll come up with this page, and I'll be like, you have three counts of clearance constraints, short circuit, um, minimum annular ring, soak the soak, and then and then. Um, and how you can see these, if you go back to your board, and go to panels and select messages, it will show you and you can click on them and it will tell you what all the different problems are. So this one is an antenna when it gets that sign. And that's because it's just a line going to nowhere. Can we drag this up to there? And then report your polygon. And then we'll start getting rid of it. There's still a clearance constraint and antenna because it's not fully connected yet. And you will just work through all 